hey guys welcome to my youtube channel this video i'm going to show you how to do a data partition in AppSheet. if you have uh, thousands of rows in your google sheet and you feel that it's getting slow so maybe it's time to do a data partition for that so in this example it has 5000 rows in it and i wanted to uh, partition this table into different city so this table composed of two cities and it has new york and london so what i will do is i wanted the user just to select which city they wanted to see and that is the only thing that the app sheet will display so this is not a security filter this is another way of scaling your app so i already uh, partitioned it in the google sheet so I have here the prop the older properties and I have here the New York. What I did is just a simple filter here, uh, where, which is city is equals to New York and it's all it's all displays all the New York here. And it has around 2,800. Same goes with London. It has around 2,200 uh, rows. So the thing in uh, data partition. Uh, make sure that the table structure and the column structures is the same <clears throat> For example here in this property state. So I have two columns if you want to partition this table you will also need to create an identical table Okay, but you don't need to upload this partition data in app sheet. You just need to upload this um, Let's say this full property if you wanted to to let your users see as well as an option for the whole database okay so let's go back to the app sheet in order to partition, we have to create here a here a drop down list where in user will select which city they wanted to see so we're gonna use the user settings in the user settings you, there are some columns here so we only need two columns here one is for the title so let's say here I put I put already here. This is a welcome. Second here is the maybe this is um, select city. So in the select city, I wanted to have an enum, enum type here. I'm going to add the values here so they can select. Let's say they wanted to see all. They wanted to see only London they wanted to see new york and i wanted it abstract down list once you're done for that uh, you can just tick this select city show and that's all once you save you're gonna have like a settings on this on the menu side And then in, if you're using a uh, user setting, you can uh, set your options. Let's say um, in the UX side, there is what we call in the data option. Yes, the starting view you can select, let's say user settings. So you can do that. Okay, if you go on the side, you can see a settings here. So we have now a drop down for which city do you want it to see and you can also customize that by changing this the icon. So let's say I'm going to use this and you can also change the name. Let's say this one cities okay and hits you can save and now let's go to this uh, scaling this table so this is the table that we wanted to scale as as you notice I did not upload any any table here we have only one which is the main table so we have to go down here and there is what we call scale so we have two options for scaling here the first uh, option here is if you tick this, uh, this will be uh, this will be a 
this will be a settings for partition so here the partition will be coming from different data source let's say you have the uh, database in you have another database or you have another sheets which is not attached to the to this uh, in short you can browse more data and attach any data here and then you can just label that one so since our example is not like that uh, our example is it stays in one sheets and it has different tab so what we what you're gonna do is to use the second one here so as you can see here there is also is uh, like an information here so the first one is the data is divided into many spreadsheet files or table source in short you have some you have different table source so and the second one is the data is divided into many worksheet or identical column structures so it should be it's will in this case this is the example so if your table is uh, arranged like this so you will choose the second option so let's use the second option and we're gonna add a partition so in the partition so we have a drop down here all so so all so this is the partition name I mean the set uh, the user will select all then which table they wanted to see so they wanted to see is we already have this which is the whole table so this is the table name this is the okay then when user select London which table you wanted to load so we are gonna use oops sorry not this we'll use the second one here okay so here so the setting will be user settings so what is the column name there it's a select city so you have to put here in the partition expression user settings then you can add this and if the user select all so which table you wanted to load so we're gonna load the properties so which is this table if the user select London we're gonna load the London then New York we will also select New York okay so this is the expression partition expression formula you can just use this if you are using the user settings you can also use by user email so if you can also have like a table which is um, if the email is like this uh, these are all the drop downs that they have so it's up to you you can customize it so as you notice guys I did not uh, upload this to table in app sheet I just have this table the properties table now let's try okay so now we have a cities uh, option here for drop down. Now they can select which uh, city they wanted to see. Let's say I want to see the New York. Once you save, you will see they will see only all New York. They wanted to see the London. They can also change it. As you notice, I did not add this table in app sheet. Nothing. All right. I'm going to select all I will see all so this is how you partition your uh, data or your spreadsheet in AppSheet if you learned something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any questions thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video